Hey friends, welcome to Sira Seeds by Sampada. Today I am going to show you how to make cream cheese at home. Many cheesecake and the cupcakes require cheese cream for the frosting. So let's make it at home. To make cheese cream, we require 2 cups of milk. Here I am using this 2 cup of whole fat milk, 1 cup of fresh cream and 4 teaspoon of vinegar. Heat the pan and add 2 cup of milk. and 1 cup of fresh cream add 2 teaspoon of vinegar I am using 4 teaspoon but adding 2 teaspoon at a time and remaining I am adding later you can see milk start curdling so at this time I add remaining 2 teaspoon of vinegar if we are making paneer out of it then 2 teaspoon of vinegar is enough for this much quantity but cream cheese is supposed to be little tangy so I am adding this 4 teaspoon of vinegar so we will get nice tangy flavor cream cheese. Friends as you can see our milk is fully curdled now switch off the flame and strain the paneer. For that keep strainer on a bowl and place a muslin cloth over it. Do not squeeze the paneer tightly, also do not wash it with fresh water. Now take out the wave from the bowl and on the empty bowl place a strainer and let the paneer drain naturally for 30 minutes. It's been 30 minutes, now take out the paneer and the whey which we have got, collect it in another bowl. As for the paneer in a grinder to make smooth paste. I am using vanilla flavor cream cheese so I am adding this 1 4 teaspoon of vanilla extract. of salt. Friends as you can see after grinding 2 to 3 minutes I get this consistency which is totally not a creamy consistency so I am adding 2 teaspoon of whey which we have collected and grinding again. After grinding more 2 to 3 minutes, you can see the cream cheese is ready. You can store this cream cheese in airtight container in fridge for one week. If you want to use it for cake and the cupcake frosting, add sugar and the butter and use as a frosting. You can use it as a cheese spread also. Just add more quantity of water while grinding or you can add chili flakes or garlic or any flavor that you want to use as a cheese spread. So friends, if you like my today's recipe then don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for new wonderful recipe updates. If you have any suggestions and the questions then you can comment me in the comment section below.